是一个坚韧不拔的纪录片。Hey yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at a guy who basically is just tired of being Caucasian, so he just goes out, drops a couple bands, and he basically just fully changes his race. So yeah, this should be a super interesting video today. But yeah, guys, real quick, I did just want to mention I do have a Discord server, Instagram, and Twitter, all linked down below in the description. So please be sure to go check those. Out. So yeah, guys. Without further ado, let's uh change our race. I'm Ollie London. I'm obsessed with K-pop and BTS. Jimin! Oh my god! And I'm in Korea to transform into a K-pop star. It's gonna be very painful. This guy is literally undergoing thousands of dollars in surgery to try and make himself look Korean. I don't know why he'd want to basically go out and just change his race. Like, this guy is actually insane. Wow. This is the place. Beautiful, this is right? where they do Gangnam Style. My god, and there's lots of K-pop places up here, and hopefully we'll see, like, BTS. So now that I'm in Korea, I'm really trying to find Jimin. I'm going to all of his favorite hangouts, favorite places. Oh my god, my god. BTS, Jimin! Oh my god, I love you! Oh Jimin, I love you! I love you so much. Starting hey BTS! Jesus Christ! This dude is really going around kissing pictures of some K-pop star? Like, ew! Also, does he really think that he's just gonna find one of them chilling in the streets or something? Like, right now, they're on the search for one of the guys from BTS. I don't know where they think that they'll find him, but regardless, they're looking for him. I mean, this man just needs to catch a grip on reality, dude. Like, he's really going around kissing printings of a guy from a Korean boy band. Like, you aren't a 12-year-old girl who's obsessed with Connor from Twilight, dude. You're a grown adult kissing a printout of a guy in a boy band. Um, what's going on now? Is is he praying to them? Why is this guy on his knees for this Korean boy band? Are they like gods to him or something? He is literally worshipping them at this point. I was able to release a K-pop music video which I never dreamed would happen before. <laughs> Um, it's just changed my life uh, dramatically for the better. I am perfection, yeah. I am perfection. And I know for a fact one day soon I'll be able to fulfill my dream and hopefully meeting Jimin. The most important reason that I'm in Korea is obviously for my beautiful transformation, which I'm about to undergo. Okay, so this guy is going out of his way to get thousands of dollars in plastic surgery, make what seems like highly budgeted music videos with paid actors and stuff, and move to Korea, all to just have a super slim chance that he could maybe, just possibly, meet a singer from a boy band. Talk about standing, dude. This guy isn't even just a stan. He's like a psycho stalker, overly obsessed fan, who most likely wants to kill kidnap the k-pop singer and keep him tied up in his basement like let's be real here tell me you wouldn't be surprised if this man right here had at least 10 k-pop stars locked in his basement right now i love ice cream ice cream is amazing oh it's so good it's especially korean ice cream I want Jimin flavor. Do they have nah. Jimin flavor? Okay, why would they have a flavor of ice cream that tastes like a K-pop star? Does this man want to just go out and take a bite out of him or something? L like, this just keeps getting weirder and weirder. All I know is you're gonna have three silver in one day, you crazy I'm ass. I'm gonna go a bit crazy. Yeah. All K-pop stars have a very sharp V-line, mm -hmm. so I really, really need to do that. It's gonna be very painful because it's shaving the bone from the inside to the mouth. Ooh, but do you have to break your jaw? I don't even know. Oh my like, god. I know. I, I, sometimes it's best not to know. But I'm also reducing my cheekbone. What do you mean? Well, I'm having the bone shaved down to make my face smaller and symmetrical. Whoa. I know, it's gonna be painful. Ooh, that sounds really painful, baby. I know, but it's an amazing hospital, amazing medical team, and it's worth it. Please tell me how that's worth it at all. You're gonna go to a hospital to get your bones shaved down? Are you freaking insane, dude? And for what? Just to meet your end goal of meeting a singer? Why do you feel the need to make yourself look Korean just so you can meet someone who's famous? Like, I just simply don't get it. Like, buy a backstage pass to one of his concerts or something, dude. Like, why undergo 
undergo thousands and thousands of dollars in surgery and stuff if you could just super easily spend a couple extra dollars to buy some tickets to meet him. I just don't get it, dude. So I'm gonna be personally fantastic, so I'm so happy and I'm gonna look exactly like Jimin, my idol. I'm gonna be tough, but the hospital and you is all I need to I'm make so me happy. Of course, people will always be concerned when people do surgery, but it's an individual decision and it's a choice that you make with a lot of thought process. A lot of thought process? Clearly not a lot of thought process went into transforming your face to look like a K-pop artist, dude. Like, one of the only reasons you're doing this is so you could meet a singer. Like, go to a fan meetup or get backstage passes or something, dude. Like, you really don't need to do this. <laughs> I am finally back in London. So it's now been two months uh, since my surgery and I've healed so much. The swelling went down so quickly. <laughs> Hi guys, and young is Hi. Hi. It's me, Ne. Oh my god. How are you? Oh my it's me. The hair, yeah. first of all. Oh my god. Wait, it's not the mask, it's just Jamie. Jamie. I didn't know it's you. You didn't know it was me? Oh <laughs> thanks, Lucian. I've got something to tell you guys. You might not take it well. I knew oh it. Oh my god. I my new knew face. it. Oh, oh my god. god. I know. It's a little I know. Different. Oh my god, dude, that's terrifying. He literally looks like an anime guy or something. Does this dude really think that looking like this will get him to meet some celebrity? This man is off the goop, bro. Like, you're actually crazy. Basically, I got, I'll tell you what I got. So I got a rhinoplasty, which was fixing my nose That's again. What I he was having, yeah. And then I also got an alloplasty, which is the base of my nose to make the nostrils Tiny. more even. So cute. cute. Yeah, really cute. Very cute. And then I also had my cheekbone reduced. Basically, they cut in my hairline down to here, open up the skin, and shave the bone down. Oh, it wasn't even painful, it was no problem. Was it? No, it was fun. I've also done chin contouring, so I had a genioplasty with a T osteomy, which is basically shaving down the bone of my chin to make what? it sharp, Why? and uh, you know, having an augmentation just to make it more cute. But I've also done more surgery. All K-pop stars have a very sharp V line, very painful because it's shaving the bone from the inside of the mouth. Ooh. You know, now my face is smaller, it's cute, I look younger. You look like animation character. So he really just did this so he can look like all of the other K-pop stars? Why would he want to look like other people who already made it in the industry? Like if you're trying to make it anywhere, you have to be unique. Like making yourself look like someone else is the most uncreative thing ever. This guy really just needs to catch a grip. What? Where does it end though? Where's it gonna end? Jason, you know it makes me happy. And like, look, I look 18 now, so I can hide my real age. So, um, which is, which is, I can't actually remember my age. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm 19. I'm 19. Yeah, 19. I'm almost done. Just need to do my eyes a little almost, eyebrow lift. Almost, almost done. Almost, almost done. <laughs> look what happened to Michael Jackson. Well, I'm not you Michael Jackson. I'm Jimmy. I'm not Michael Jackson, I'm Jimin. I'm not, not You're going that Ollie. far. Ollie! I'm Oli. Oli AO. <laughs> this dude doesn't even know who he is. He really thinks that he's a singer from BTS at this point. Like, honestly, though, I, I, I don't see a difference. He looks exactly like the man. Like, like, they might as well be identical twins at this point. I'm always going to be the same person inside. Actually, through surgery, it improves the real me because I really show myself more. I show my true colors. So it really brings out the real Oli. And yeah, guys, that's where the video ends, I guess. He actually does make some music, and uh, let's just say it's not the best. So if you guys do want to see me make a video about his music, uh, if, if this video hits 100 likes, I will actually do it. But guys, thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. It really does help me out so much. You guys are the real Gs for that. Don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. And yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.
Ow. Yeah, Pete has a D to keep it real. Swallow the pill, show me the thrill. Follow the dream to keep it silly. Grind on the daily just to stay up late. Money is great, but the fans are what makes it okay. He wants a smile on your face. Never see a frown. And on the rainy days, he'll keep on grinding till he makes his place in the world full of fakes.